welcome back everyone to another video and this is pretty exciting uh, i just found a project on github by the name of v86 and it's a whole x86 cpu emulator written entirely in javascript so what this translates into is that you can emulate any pc based operating system on your browser now yes there are performance limitations but this is a very very unique project now to write an emulator on a programming language that was intentionally designed for web browsers uh, and web pages is completely awesome so we can actually do a couple of operating systems right now which we will go into but let's just look at the source code for a second and everything uh, whatever you see here is written entirely in .js uh, javascript and that's how everything else works so you can see nothing in c uh, nothing in well pretty much anything else it is entirely working on the javascript programming language not even proper java so this is pretty mind blowing and let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a couple of uh, operating systems and see how they work so something like windows 98 will take a lot of time to load uh, if you boot it up so as you can see it loaded up pretty quickly and the reason being that this is just a snapshot that loads so what happens is it uh, initially downloads a file to your computer uh, to your browser's cache and then it runs from that very uh, disk image and makes it into a virtualized OS. So here we have our Windows 98 running. So we can go into start and it is not the fastest as I said but it's, it's running on your browser. I mean you cannot argue a lot there. So we do have games here, uh, Minesweeper and even let's go ahead and take a look at our computer properties and so it shows it as genuine intel x86 family model 15 uh, and 64 megabytes of ram apart from that uh, we don't have a whole lot so let's go ahead and move on to something different and uh, let's move on to linux and we have linux and linux 3 both of these boot directly so they are going to take some time to load uh, linux uh, 2 takes actually pretty less time so we'll go ahead and wait for that to boot i think this is still based on busybox and uh, it should be pretty familiar so let's wait and see uh, how it boots and take a look Alright so we are done so it was pretty fast so Linux 3 uh, does take a lot of while but uh, something like Linux 2 works just fine. So let's go ahead and do our regular uname A and you can see it's running Linux 2.6 and on i686GNU Linux and let's go ahead and uh, see what processor it detects as it has. So rock and cpu info and here we have at again genuine intel and cpu family as 15 so and that should be so this should be basically the original intel pentium 4 series that is uh, being emulated well the inst instructions are being emulated the speed is nowhere near uh, what a pentium 4 would be capable of so this was linux running on uh vx86 uh, let's move on to colibri os now this is a very very interesting operating system so colibri os is basically um an entire os written in x86 assembly language so as you can see this also takes a while to load again i have featured this operating system very early on on uh, my channel let's see what all we can get to work So as you can see I have uh, started a 
graphical demo here on the Colibri OS and you can literally see the screen scanning the new image and uh, making its way through so this was Colibri OS let's go ahead into Windows 1.1 and this is by far the thing that works the best and I'll just zoom in a little bit here and then here we can see we have our clock or clipboard just a second all right so this is windows 1.1 and working perfectly well on the uh, vx86 now this is where you can see how powerful the vx86 is windows 1.1 has no issues wor working at all uh, on a browser so we have our word uh, an early iteration of word or let's say a predecessor to word which was called write and we can easily type our documents and it is having no issues taking in any input or missing anything else that i am typing so and of course we can run other programs uh, we have our calculator here which i think i just this is our calculator here uh, this also works perfectly fine and there's no reason that it won't and we have our control panel here so we can basically select our double click speed and a cursor blink speed and whatever and this is our clipboard so whatever we copy on uh, gets saved here apart from that not a lot windows 1.1 running on a browser so again a very very awesome project make sure you go ahead and check it out links in the description i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one